Hey guys, today we are going to be looking, I am going to be looking at, um, Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Shockwave. Yeah, a bit of a mouthful for the line, for the name of the line, but this is Transformers, uh, Prime Beast Hunters Shockwave, um, I do not have his rubber pieces, the pieces that go over his, the piece that goes over his chest, the piece that goes on his feet, and the piece that, pieces that go over on his shoulders. They were just weird rubber pieces that were included with him. So I, I've lost them, and I don't really care. Uh, so I'll show off where you put them. Um... So, and to uh, address, I guess you could say, the elephant in the room, yes, this was a childhood figure of mine, and you can tell because I painted it. I put, I used a tiny bit of red, you'll more see that in robot mode, but mainly orange and blue. Um, yes, it's egregious, it well, it's just very bad. It obviously was no idea for a custom, no nothing. Just to do it. To have fun. To paint him. And I could scrape it off. I could take some, like, acetone or... Not acetone, but some sort of, like, rubbing alcohol. I don't know. Paint stripper, I guess, maybe. And get rid of it, but... It just shows that this is a toy from my childhood. And this guy is the only shockwave that I own. Other than the little Legends, Cyberverse, whatever version of him. Um, so yeah, he has a place in my heart as being a childhood favor childhood toy. And also the only interpretation of shockwave I have. Um... So, just like Megatron, Shockwave had a really rough time of being a gun, being a toy gun. So he's gone. He he basically did the exact same thing as Megatron. Revert to the basic thing of a tank. But, he is not just a real looking tank. He is a Cybertronian tank. Um... And, uh, don't want to assume, because I've never been to Cybertron, but I don't think this is a very good tank, but, uh, I don't know. Um, the turret can't even swivel, but, um, he has two wheels, and these rubber treads... And two plastic wheels. This one I'll get into when we transform him. This one, why it is all raised and stuff. But, uh, you know, Shockwave, I, <laughs> I can't, e I don't even know. Because, you know, in the movie, uh, Dark of the Moon, he transformed into a, you know, lump of nothing that's called a tank. This one transforms into a lump of nothing that's called a tank. And then the Cyberverse one, he's a spider tank. I don't know. But, uh, enough, enough, uh, talking down about it. Let's just transform it. Well, talking about the vehicle mode, so let's get into the transformation. So, what I like to do is I like to get the turret out of the way and the arm you can obviously see the arm down here so you're going to just oop gonna move it up a little bit so it's gonna untab but really I want to show you more how to peg it in because there's this little clip thing you could say this little clip and then there's the square hole. And then it's going to go in. And I, all I remember is when I was younger, I had a rough time 
getting this perfectly lined up or else it sits more like this because the shoulder wouldn't push over enough or something, I can't remember, but you untab that and then straighten the arm out. Now come back here, and this one I do remember because I would struggle to get it, and you just unpeg that, to like get it completely on, and then I would think to push it completely down, and then it would un undo it, completely take, un completely pop out the joint. So, um, I don't know. Focus camera there so bring it around i just wanted to say that i don't know if it's truly that big of a struggle or it was just some weird coincidence and then i like to shift both of the shoulders back sort of like this to get them out of the way so now we can take these these per i almost said blue these purple panels and shift them up they're on these double double hinges they're more like lengths than hinges, but, and now we can work on the legs. So we come up here and it's slotted in. You can see that this little tab that's on the chest plate is slotted into the leg. And you just sort of just wiggle it out. I like to wiggle it at the hip. And it will come undone because you can see that there are those you'll see it better like this. There's that little, little lip. That little lip that goes up underneath into that slot. I don't know if you can see it, how it like jut, how there's like a cutout inside of it. I don't know. So now, so you don't disarrange the hips. Well, close. You hinge up the chest plate and then hinge it back down. Gonna pull the camera up a little bit more. So, so you don't like disarrange the hips and whatnot. What I like to do is bring them down and then swivel them at the thigh, and then turn them at the thigh. You straighten out the legs. You, and then spin them around and then straighten them out. Same thing on this side. Ang just angle it down at the hip and then you can swivel the thigh. I just like that so then the hips don't get all messed up and like spun around because then you might uh, do this. You can see that the hip is moving and not the thigh swivel. So if you just do that then it will spin the thigh swivel and not the hip. So that's just something that I like to do. And then you push the feet on these sliders and then shut it and then close his foot, push his hinges foot down. Now you can bring the arms out because you have room for them. And another thing that sometimes I like to hinge the foot up first and then slide it because if you don't there's nothing stopping you from just and at least on my copy and you know this is old and i didn't transform it as much as like a lot of the other figures that i had when i was young but um i do remember this happening because they were s still stiff and they obviously still are dang it But, um, just keep that in mind that it will just sh slide right off if you put too much effort into it or you're not, like, stopping it with your finger or going slow. That's why sometimes I just do that because now, because it's angled up, his foot goes up, it completely stops it from going out. So now we have the legs all done. And now we're going to come to the back. And before we collapse these together, we're going to come back to this tray. And you can see that it goes up and around to the very back. 
and this one doesn't. So hopefully you can see that. How the tread just goes right in there. So now you want to just pull it out. And it is a bit of a struggle. I like to get back down here and pull it out because there's a bit more for you to grab onto and pull it out. And ever since I got this guy out of the box and then transformed him, that this uh, cable, this part of the tread and cable was never the same. It never sat flush against the plastic and never sat flush against the wheel ever again. To my knowledge, I remember that. So, um, if that bugs you, I guess, I don't know, then that might happen. Who knows? Might just be my copy. But now we can compress the treads together and now unhinge it, hinge it down and it, this gray piece that's connected to his chest will go around these two little clasps. Those two little black clasps connected to the treads and then that will uh, just keep those there and then you can fold those in do whatever you want with these rubber spikes and then you take this the cable or the tread and you slot peg it in slot it peg it whatever uh, into this open into this opening I like to sort of rock it in rock it in and out because there are those little teeth sort of you could say so you have to almost put one side put one side in first and then put the other side in that's just what i like to do because you know that one is bent because i remember like just trying to jam it in there and it wouldn't go in because the little teeth can't just flex down and get out of the way so you have to rock it in and just do one at a time so uh and now you just spin his head around so uh here you have shock wave be able to see his feet and here is transformers beast hunters shock wave and you know I think he looks good. He obviously looks like his character model. Um, and just, that's it. He looks like his character model, and I like that. I like the style of him. Uh, he definitely is, uh, I don't know, hollow, you could say. He just feels a little light, which that's not bad. You know, it's not bad for him to feel light. And I think... He's a Voyager. I don't remember. But, um... Uh... The one... So... I don't know. All of the uh, spikes, even the ones on his head, are rubber. Because, uh, you know, child safety laws. So, like... This one... This one is bent. Sorry. This one is bent... Uh, I, uh, other than that, I don't think any other ones are bent, but, uh, I guess that's something to look out for, just like almost any other Transformer or toy that has rubber on it, and these ones haven't dried out any, none, none of it has dried out, I don't feel like it's gonna break because it's old, um, so, the rubber is obviously fairly good, but, you know, this is Transformers Prime, you know, not too recent, but not too old. So, I don't know if that, if me saying that the rubber is good, like good quality, is, I don't know. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of the word. <sighs> Relative. I don't know if that's relative, 
because, you know, he's not the oldest figure or and not the newest figure. You know, I can't say for sure if it's going to stay. And obviously, the paint definitely hurts him. Well, objectively. Me personally, I don't care because I like it. It's a fond memory that I have. But objectively, it very much makes him look pretty bad. Um... So, uh, this arm, his cannon arm, you can probably obviously tell by all the rattling and this really, really tall button is that, um, this is basically a mech tech gun. A, basically, 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 basically. Um, but you push that down and it spins. It will spin, I don't know, I'm trying to think of it. It will spin clockwise. And when it spins, it opens up and reveals this little blast effect. And just that alone is fun. Being able to uh, spin this and I don't know. I just think it's fun. Um fun to play around with and this cable does hinder his posing a little bit to go completely straight and out it sort of makes him angle his gun his arm down but uh you know whatever you can just always unpeg it leave it off and up into the treads tread assembly so um overall he Pose is pretty good. Unfortunately, he has the same problem as, um, as, um, why can't I think of his name? Cybertron Defense Scattershot is that you go one click, is that you can either have straight or one click out, and he's doing the A stance. And I think that's super, super annoying is that. Is at least with with this guy he where his legs don't connect like scatter shot is that there's actually this gap so he looks natural somewhat natural but scatter shot poor scatter shot there's like no room because his legs connect but um, not his review but just wanted to say that is it's uh, annoying just trying to get him in any poses you could say. And another annoying thing is, I don't know if it's just my copy, but if you use the bicep swivel on the cannon arm, is that it just walks itself out. It, If you swivel it, it just, I'm going to try to, it just undoes itself and slowly pops off. One like this one, it just doesn't go anywhere. So, um, and it almost seems pointless, you could say, because there's this swivel for transformation that's right, um, below his elbow, because whenever you go to spin it, that always turns first before the bicep does, so that's why I say it's a little pointless, um, not saying that it's bad to have a bicep swivel on on him that he has a bicep swivel but uh the fact that most of the time it that hit that swivel moves before the um bicep does eh, it's sort of a little pointless to me at least uh but uh i think that's really it uh obviously this isn't the greatest interpretation that i could show you of the care of this toy because I've painted it, I've defaced it, you could say. Not deface, that's just stupid. But I've painted it when I was young. I still enjoy it. I don't regret it because I would have taken the paint off if I did. But, uh, but I, but this is, uh, shock, uh, Prime Shockwave. He's not a bad toy. Uh, Tank mode is a little, you know, so-so, not too bad, but uh, without too much complex transformation, and also having his gimmick, 
Um, the look of the robot is fair, is pretty good, and the transformation, yeah, pretty. Oh, it's pretty simple, but uh, I wouldn't say it's um, it, it's not too bad. It's simple, but it's not like a uh, boring simple. Uh, definitely not the first guy I'd pick up to transform, but definitely someone, a guy that if I had him on a desk, I would transform him. But, um, I, I don't, I don't know how much he runs for on eBay or places like that. So, uh, don't know how much he costs to buy him again, but, um, overall, I like him. For the only shockwave I have in my collection, he's not too bad. And uh, I think that's all I have to say about Transformers Prime, Transformers Prime, Beast Hunters, Transformers Prime, Beast Hunters, Shockwave, and uh, that's all I have to say about him. Good toy. Don't know. How he don't know how much he runs for on the aftermarket, but uh, see you next time.